All right, we're gonna uh, do some keyboard mylar, some silver recovery, something I've actually never attempted before in my life. So we'll see how it goes. So I want gloves, some nitric acid. You also want glasses and a respirator. Oh, that's cool. It's quite a bit, but I also have quite a bit of keyboard mylars to do. And we'll get the mylars together and go from there. I'm gonna cut the connectors off, deal with those later. All right, so I'm just gonna pluck all these out, put them in that container there to uh, drain a little bit. That way I'm not just pissing out nitric acid all over the place. This way most of it can drain. can actually rinse the rest of it putting gloves on because man does that burn your skin if you get it on you and it's really easy for it to splash when it's like this right hand's probably more talented And keep all of your uh, all your leftovers essentially because later on down the road you'll get a little better at what you do and you'll realize hey I didn't get everything like, I wasn't gonna do all these mylars that I have but I used way too much nitric
Now that we've processed the keyboard mylars in the nitric acid, we're going to put it into a 5,000 milliliter beaker container. We're going to water it down with, I'm going to use distilled water. And then we're going to add hydrochloric acid to turn to precipitate the silver to silver chloride. Don't break. Okay. Just using that to level it out. Where are we at? We're way over there. Okay, a little closer. This is what I rinsed the mylars off in, distilled water. We're going to add that to it. And we're going to rinse it with just some distilled water. And get every little bit that's in there, in there, out of there. In there, in there, out, in there, out of there. <laughs> and this was my final five gallon bucket rinse with the mylars. Right. And it's okay to have it a little dirty. We're gonna filter everything. You out. You out. Okay. Now we're going to add some hydrochloric acid to it. It's muriatic acid, hydrochloric acid to precipitate the silver. There we are. Good view of that. The milk's gone bad. <laughs> I'm going to let it settle a little bit. Add a little more hydrochloric acid. See if there's any reaction. But it's probably already done. There's not a whole lot of silver to be recovered off of mylars. Silver chloride, silver, well, soon to be silver metal. does look like cheese curd curd of milk let that settle decant it rinse it and then we'll turn that into silver metal with lye and sugar
So after letting it sit out all night and settle, it actually came up pretty clear. A little bit in there. Now we're going to decant and rinse. All right, so all right. So next step is we're going to take our silver chloride and turn it into silver oxide with lye. Basically, you can get that at your local hardware store, lye. We're going to put that in there, blend it. Just a cheap blender, which I will film, but we'll get that step out of the way in a minute. All right, so again, we're just going to add a little bit of distilled water. Make it a little easier to blend the lye with. Again, you want to be careful. You don't want to splash this. Lye will make you blind. All this shit will make you blind. Stuff will make you blind. Doing the splits. And get some more lie. Bought it. The hardware store. And uh, what is it? An exothermic reaction. Essentially, it's going to get really hot. Even more so when we add the sugar. To turn the silver oxide into silver metal, essentially. But we're gonna let it cool, rinse it off for now. And for this one, it sucks. You're gonna want a big bucket that you can spill over into. We're gonna turn the silver oxide into silver metal, lye. And we're gonna do that with sugar, household sugar. Oh boy. Here we go. Add some distilled water to it. Just a smidge. Oh boy. A lot of refiners hate this method. Oh boy, that was a lot. Stupid. 
when I have it in this five gallon bucket to collect it when it boils over. And I say when because it's gonna happen. did miss turning it into now that we've let the silver metal set we're gonna rinse it a few times with hot water all right we'll do a, a few more rinses here with hot water Good. We'll put it on the hot plate to dry, and then we'll we'll melt it. See where we're at. You rinse it, and then it doesn't take too long for it to settle. Just like that, and we're down to pure silver metal. Melt it, and we'll have a silver bar. A few rinses with some hot, I use distilled water. Just, it's easier that way. It's not very expensive. I mean, all around easier, safer to just use distilled water. Just like that. I'm trying to get it so you can see the level of silver metal, but oh, it's too hard to see. Then I like to save all the rinse waters and everything. You can treat everything properly, not to mention you can end up recovering more precious metals after everything settles, especially when it comes to gold precious metals. Your SMB, once everything settles, you, you have some more fine gold particles. Same with your filter papers, always save your filter papers. One more rinse. We'll see if I can catch the video of the splash. Oh, look at that. See, at this point, it settles pretty quickly. It's already settled. Just like that. All right, we'll get back to it. Eh, I'm gonna remelt it. Oh, look at that. Almost a troy ounce. 